Hi everyone and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Anna. So lovely to see you and I just want to say thank you so much for all your messages of well wishes uh, when I was not feeling well. I really appreciate it. Um, I am feeling better. Thank you so much. Now today's story is a story that I think most of you have heard or you've seen the front cover of the book in the library somewhere and um, it's a very very famous story children's story and the author is also very famous and he is Eric Carl he's also our illustrator and there's so many of his lovely books um, if you ever want to have a look at them any bookstore or library you can have a look for Eric Carl's books and um, Today's story is one of his most famous, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it with me. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, like today, today's Sunday, the warm sun came up. And pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. There's our apple. He was still hungry. Wow. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums. But they were still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries. But he was still hungry. My goodness. <laughs> On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five, five oranges. But he was still hungry. Wow. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had uh, <laughs> a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and he felt much better after that. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. That's 14 days. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. 
There's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle, there's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle, there's a tiny caterpillar. A tiny caterpillar, a tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle, he will eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch, he will eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch. He will eat the leaves around him, eat the leaves around him, eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch. A cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. A cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. A cocoon is what he's spinning. Cocoon is what he's spinning. Cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. Then he'll be a butterfly and fly away. Flutter, flutter. Then he'll be a butterfly and fly away. Flutter, flutter. Then he'll be a butterfly. Be a butterfly. Be a butterfly and fly away. Flutter, flutter. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. It was so lovely to see you again. I'll see you next time. Bye.